So where's the c cervical is C1 to C4. This is the cervical plexus right here. And the bottom part of the brachial. And this is the brachial plexus because it goes to the arm. So brachial means arm, so that goes there. This is the lumbar plexus right here. What does the book say? Yeah. Yeah, just below the ribs. And then sacral plexus is can't see it. Right here. Can't see it? <laughs> there's no, it doesn't show the sacrum, you know, like on the back or something. No, it's in this hair. I think it's right here. <laughs> the lumbar and the sacral. Okay, so let's start from the bottom. The sacral plexus has the sciatic nerve, which is the longest nerve in the body, which is this one, the big one right here, right? Because then that goes into the tibial and the common peroneal, or it's also called the... <laughs> Uh, fibular. Fibular. So this is a common peroneal right here. The sciatic branches into the tibial and the common uh, peroneal. That's the sciatic, which is the, like she said, the longest nerve in the body. And then when you go up, then you have the lumbar, which is right here. And you have the obturator and the femoral. So the obturator goes through the obturator foramen and then the femoral we'll talk about the femoral area of the body. So that's the one that I don't, I don't know where they are. Okay, so they're together. They're, so the obturator is medial. So I'm thinking this one is the obturator, right here. And this one is the femoral, which makes sense because don't they say that the femoral artery is right here, right? Do you see that in your book, Sylvia, that the the um, obturator is the medial? I thought that this would have been the... Which one is the femoral? I thought I this would have been the femoral. Femoral, yeah, femur. Femoral. Wrong one. Wait, oh, yeah, obturator for you. The big one is the what? This one. Okay, so that's, yeah, we're just learning. So this is the femoral right here. This big one? Or the... The femoral one should be the bigger one. The bigger one up here or the bigger one down here? Obturator nerve should be the one that is most medial. This is sciatic. So the other two we have to choose from are these two or these two? They're not here today. What? Right now. Oh, I'm like, the day before the test? Don't freak me out. It comes down to the so you're to looking inside. At the posterior view. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, because you can't find it on the. For some reason, I'm thinking this one is the femoral. It's not in our book either. That's the best one. Oh, the obturator is the most is the most medial. It's just the one. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Obturator is right here. That's why I said I think. Just this one. is the femoris. Yes, that is a femoris. This is the obturator. Yes. This is the sciatic. Because it goes yes, underneath and the femoral goes on top. You're so smart. Oh, and this is the, is this a tibia, fibula? This is the tibia. Oh, tibia, This is the fibula. common uh, fibula. Fibularis. Or peroneal. Oh, whatever. Oh, so this is a mm. radial. We're not there yet. You put that in the trash. Yes. This is sciatic. Yes. So we know that's the tibia. This is the common uh, peroneal or fibularis. Just say fibularis is easier. And then this is the femoral here. Yes, femoral. And the obturator is right here. Yes. Well, that makes sense because the obturator foramen is that hole in your. Um, yeah. What do you call that bone? The pelvic. Right. And the there's pelvic. our one of our TA. And it goes down right there. Okay. So okay. So we got those. Obturator. The obturator nerve. And then the, the femoral Can I nerve. get this for a minute? Oh, I'm sorry. And that's the sciatic. Obturator, sciatic. And then we do have to know that the sciatic branches into the common peroneal and the tibial. So we got that part. The next one up is the brachial plexus, which is right here. <laughs> we have axillary, median, ulmar, or radial. So that's 20. The, that goes down in branches, right? <laughs> what is that? So if it goes down the Safini, the Safinus? We don't need to know that one. But the ones from the lumbar plexus, we need to know All right. two from the lumbar plexus, the obturator and the femoral. And then from the sacral, we need to know the sciatic.
So this one's a sciatic. Uh -huh. This one's a femoral. This one's the operator? Yeah. I think this one right here. Because the sacral only has, the only thing we need to know from sacral is the sciatic. And then the lumbar up here. I think. Is this one? This one right here? And then this one right here. Yeah, the big one. Because it comes from the bottom. And this is the operator, right? Yes, that's right. This is going Oh, the muscle swap. Right, this is the saphenoris, right? Uh -huh. Okay. This is the femoral or the saphenous? No, 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 this is the saphenous. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was wondering. I was like, it was... What was this one? Saphenous. Oh, this... That's wait, sciatic. This one? It's the sciatic. The, big the biggest sciatic, one. Right? With, yeah, oh. there's a sciatic on each side. So, the, the, remember sciatic comes from the sciatica, the, um, the lowest part where the coccyx is. Okay. So number 21 is a saphenous. We don't number, have to know it yet. Well, I, it, was, it was bothering me. Number 20 is the obturator nerve. 25, that's the sciatic, again. And 23 is the femoris nerve, or femoral nerve. Yeah, how I'm going to teach myself, this, the sciatic goes underneath. Oh. It's underneath. And the obturator comes through the the hole, so it's the skinny one that's medial, and then the femoral goes on top, right? Yeah, the femoris. And comes down to the femur. It really is the closest one to the femur if you look at this diagram. <laughs> okay, any questions on those? The brachial are the axillary, median, ulnar, radial, and musculotadius. Cervical. And it goes from C5 to T1. So the three plexuses are cervical, brachial, and lumbar, and sacral. We did four. We did the sacral and the lumbar. And in the brachial plexus, one, two, three, four, five. There's five. In the brachial? Yeah. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So we can figure this one is the radial nerve, right? Yeah, radial. Is this is the ulnar nerve. Wait, this is on. the medium. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. This is the median. <laughs> <laughs> so now we need to figure out the... Axillary. The axillary and the musculotaneous. Where's that? Oh. So the ax, I, I'm, you think this is the axillary right here? Yeah, yeah, because we're missing this. Because even axillary. though it's armpit, axilla, means, does anyone have a diagram? Unless, unless this is the axillary, this one right here, number 10. No, because that one goes, number 10. axillary is the closest axillary. one on this side. Oh, okay, so it's that one. I know it means armpit, but I think she said it was backwards in this one, because it's actually the deltoid. It yeah. innervates the deltoid. All right. This one right here. So it'll be number nine. So this is because I remember it's by the deltoid. Okay. The axillary. What's the musculo? Musculo musculo cutaneous. Musculo cutaneous. <laughs> this one. Because it's muscular and there's cutaneous, right? This is skin. Does anyone have a diagram? Because I don't want to tell the wrong one. <laughs> Musculocutaneous. Maybe this one is better. Oh yeah. So it's this one right here. Right? It's next to C3. Or wait no. C6 and C7. So where's two, three, four, and then five, six are up there, right? Well, it goes top is one, two, three, four, five. C1, Z1. Cervical Atlas. plexus, cervical plexus, no brachial plexus is C5 to T4. So this is C5 mm -hmm. to T4. I think this is the. I'm thinking this is the musculocutaneous right here, right? But it doesn't have a number. What do you think, Sylvia? What number is that? I think it's this one or this one. I think it's yeah, this one right here. So the musculocutaneous. Yeah, it's this one. It's at T7, right? Mm. 
Look, it's right here. This one, right at two seven. So count seven down. So they start here, the thoracic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah. I think this is the one. <laughs> All right. So the musculocutaneous. Um, I guess we just follow it down. This is the radial nerve. The median nerve. The ulnar. The ulnar nerve. And we got to and the, the axillaries here. And the musculocutaneous. That's got to be, right? Yeah. Well, as long as we don't see her pointing here or down here, <laughs> well, no. Oh, well, yeah, as long as, long as she puts a idea. number on it, like, because, you know, we, we already know what the axillary look like. We know these for sure, so as long as she puts in the general area over here, we know it has to be the musculocutaneous. Okay, can you repeat it again? Can you repeat it again? This is a brachial plexus. The brachial plexus supplies the upper limbs, and it goes from C5 to T1. This nerve right here is the musculocutaneous nerve. This nerve is the axillary nerve. This nerve is the radial nerve, the median nerve, and the ulnar nerve. And that's what we have in the brachial plexus. We have a lumbar plexus and a sacral plexus. In the sacral plexus, we have the sciatic nerve, which is the long, long, largest nerve in the body. This comes down and it splits above the knee into the tibial nerve and the common peroneal nerve right here. Above the sacral plexus, we have the lumbar plexus, which goes from L1 to L4. And we have the obturator nerve, which is, on this side you can see it here, and on this side you can see it here, and then the femoral nerve, which is right here, right onto the femur. And I don't think you can see it on this side.